Legolas, thank you very much for the support. Coming in with the Australian Bucks. Thank you very much from the land down under. Rogue says hello. Happy Thanksgiving from Sydney in advance. What are your top three recommenda recommended Gen 4 NVMe SSDs at the moment? Primary use is software development. Are four terabyte SSDs better than two terabytes? Thoughts on the crucial T500 SSD. Today's video was brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TechDeals. More details at the end of the video. I have not personally used the Crucial T500, but my understanding is it's perfectly fine and it's right up there with other high-end drives. I just haven't used one. The Samsung 980 Pro and 990 Pro are lovely. I have both. I've used both. The 990 Pro benchmark is better. I can't tell the difference outside of a benchmark. The next storage drives are really competitively priced in the US. Now, I don't know what they're selling for in Australia, but they're very performance competitive with the 990 Pro and similar. The SK Hynix P41 Platinum is a beast and it probably remains the fastest Gen 4 NVMe drive in the world. They're a little expensive and it's not really worth the premium, but if you find a deal on an SK Hynix P41 Platinum, and I did not say P41 Plus or P41 Pro, they are all completely different drives. They've used the P41 name on like three completely unrelated drives. Platinum. That is a 1.5 million IOP drive. Random is what matters, sequential is pretty irrelevant. That drive is a beast. Um, the Silicon Power XS70 is a beast. Uh, I've got two of them. One's in my PlayStation 5, one's in my video editing PC at the office. The Acer Predator GM7000, believe it or not, it's actually really good. Um, although Acer doesn't make the drive, it's basically the same. It's a Fison control. It's the same as all the other rebranded drives because um, while Crucial and Samsung make their own drives, most of the other companies don't. Corsair has SSDs. Corsair doesn't make SSDs. Um, Acer doesn't make SSDs. They're all fine. It depends on what's on sale at the moment. But um, the Silicon Power XS70 is a DRAM buffered premium performance high-end drive. If you don't mind the price, just go buy a 990 Pro and be done with it. But don't dismiss the 980 Pro if it's substantially cheaper, although in the US it's not at the moment. In the US, you might as well get the 990 because the prices have pretty much merged. As far as are four terabyte SSDs better than two terabytes, they are in terms of better utilizing your M.2 slots. They are in the sense of making it easier to organize files and having more files together. They are in the sense that you generally do not want to fill SSDs beyond 80% full because they really start to slow down at that point and the write amplification starts to kick in because there isn't enough spare area left to make them do to let them do their magic. So you really shouldn't use more than it. the irony is if you buy a two terabyte drive, you really have about 1.6 terabytes usable. Yeah, you can fill it. You shouldn't. The performance falls off a cliff. The write amplification, meaning it actually starts writing to the disk more than you write. So if you write a gigabyte, it actually writes 1.2 or 1.3 gigabytes. But that amplifies and gets worse the, the fuller the drive gets. If you're doing software development, I mean, in the US right now, a four terabyte Gen 4 drive is 200 bucks. The conversation's over at that point. Why would you buy anything less? They're $200. That's insane. You know, buy three of them, so. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. 
We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable, and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs. Got my answer. Thank you for the detailed breakdown. Say hi to Rogue 2. Oi, oi, oi. Yep. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Enjoy the Tim Tams. We'll get a 4 terabyte 990 Pro and be done with it. Uh, yeah, it's it, that just sort of, it removes, if you can afford a, a 4 terabyte 990 Pro, it's a space saving issue. And then you just, you just never have to care. And they do have a really good track record of um, firmware updates. And of course the Samsung Magician software. Make, down, make sure you download the Samsung Magician software. And if there's a firmware update, there was a small issue with some of the Samsung drives at one point. They've had a couple issues over the years, but they're pretty good at getting firmware updates. Most drives never get a firmware update, which kind of sucks.